welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing our brand new die, Build-A-Barn. This die helps you create the most adorable barn that's so sweet. And then the other cool thing is that there is a Reveal Wheel Build-A-Barn add-on die. This helps you use this Build-A-Barn with the Reveal Wheel. And we're gonna be showing you in this video how to use it with and without the Reveal Wheel. Now we also have some Reveal Wheel Build-A-Barn templates. These help you line up the little characters and we'll show you how to use these too. And we also have this brand new adorable little set called Tiny Farm that's a perfect match for this Build-A-Barn and it makes for really, really cute cards on its own as well. First, we're gonna take a look at the Build-A-Barn and here are all of the pieces that are included in this set. There's a bunch of really cool decorative items. And now, of course, we're gonna start building our Build-A-Barn. So we're gonna layer on the roof. So we've got the roof for the top here and for the second half of the barn. Then we have these really great doors and the doors have a little score line that the die creates for you that you can fold on so that the doors can open and close, which is a really cute place to tuck little characters in. Then the die creates these tall rectangles. These are meant to go behind the door to fill in that kind of door area there. So we added some tape runner to the back and then we're just gonna layer those little pieces on the back and you'll see as we flip the door over that it's added this really cool detail and you could use any color there. I think it really makes the barn door stand out. And then we're just gonna layer that right onto our barn. Next up, we're gonna add some little bottom decorative pieces. So you'll see those two of those, you're gonna layer them on either side of the door. There are some shutters for that top window and just like the door, you can also fold along the little score line that the die creates for you so that those little shutters can open and close. We're gonna add a little bit of liquid glue just on that exterior frame and then we're gonna layer that over that little window just like that, which looks so cute. And then we're going to add some more little decorative window shapes here. So we've got these little squares and then these little solid square backers that you can put behind them. We're gonna add that cute little star above the door and then our little windows there on either side of the door. Then we'll add a little drop of glue to the bottom of that weather vane and then we're gonna add that to the top of the barn. You can kind of scoot it over to the left and right. We'll show you that in just a little bit. So this is a way to use the barn without the reveal wheel and you can see it's just so very cute and the card that Shari makes with this in this video is just gorgeous. But I also wanted to show you how to use it with the reveal wheel. So remember that part where we put the shutter at the top? We're not gonna put the shutter, we're gonna use the die from the Reveal Wheel Build-A-Barn add-on. And it's got that cool little frame there and then also this window that's gonna fit perfectly in the puzzle piece opening of the Reveal Wheel. So we're gonna run that die through the die cut machine and that's gonna give us a card base that has the perfect opening for our Reveal Wheel mechanism. Then you can layer your barn right on top of that window and then this little frame right on top. And it gives that a nice finished look but we're gonna be able to have our really cool spinning Reveal Wheel. And then here's a look at how you can move that weather vane around. It looks really cute in different parts of the barn. And then this is a comparison between the Build-A-Barn used on its own versus the Build-A-Barn used as a reveal wheel. And if you've never made a reveal wheel before, make sure to check out our intro to reveal wheel video. It's a really fun die that has all of these different window shapes, just like the one that we've done for our barn. And now we're gonna take a look at that tiny farm stamp set. So there is a tiny little cow, a pig, a little chicken, and a farmer. Then there's these great tiny little phrases for them. So of course we have a moo and an oink and a cluck for the characters. And then there's a fun sentiment in there. So there's a hey there and then a from the whole herd. And you can use those separate or together or you could use the from the whole herd with like happy birthday or thank you. And then we have this E-I-E-I-O with the arrow and that is for a reveal wheel. So it helps you let the recipient know where to spin the wheel and we'll show you how to use that in just a little bit. Here I'm using Copic markers to color in these adorable little images and I'm just doing some nice and simple coloring, some kind of medium grays on our cow and then a cute little pink uh, little snout on the cow and then of course a little pink pig there. And so I'm doing just some highlighting under his chin and around his legs and then blending it out with my lightest color. And for the chicken, I'll just use some warm gray around him just to make that white pop on him. And then now we'll color in our cute little farmer here. And he's really fun to change the color of his hat and his clothes to coordinate with your card which is really adorable but for his overalls I'm gonna do a denim look there with those bees and then a bright red shirt and I really like the look of those two colors together these are the coordinating dies which you can bend apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate we're gonna take those dies we're gonna line them up with our stamped images hold it in place with some low tack tape run it through the die cut machine and we'll have some perfectly cut out images 
And then here is a look at the four cute little images in this set. And then next up, we're going to be creating a really awesome reveal wheel. So to create the reveal wheel, we're gonna take that build a barn add-on and we're gonna drop it right into the puzzle piece opening of our main reveal wheel piece. Then we're gonna die cut that from some spiffy speckles paper and that's gonna give us a really perfect card base. We're gonna use that same base there and we're gonna die cut some green cardstock so that we're just gonna be able to die cut some grass that's gonna have that same stitching all of the way around just so that it looks nice and finished. We're also gonna go ahead and die cut a picket fence because picket fences just look so cute with barns. And then we're going to do some stamping onto the grass. And we're doing the stamping now so that we have the stamping done before we start adhering everything down just to make sure we don't make any mistakes. We're stamping a sentiment from the brand new Tiny Farm stamp set and it says from the whole herd. So we're gonna line that up and pick up the stamp with our Misty tool, ink it up with some black licorice ink, and then we're gonna stamp that right onto the grass. And that grass has been cut from some cilantro cardstock. Now that we have that stamped out, we can start to build the base of our scene because our barn's gonna be going over top the grass and the picket fence. So we're gonna layer our picket fence on first and then layer the grass above that. Next, we're gonna work on finishing the rest of the sentiment. So the tiny farm set has a hay there in there, which is of course perfect from the whole herd, right? Hay there from the whole herd. But you could also do a lot of other sentiments. So you could look in your stash and find happy birthday from the whole herd, thank you from the whole herd, etc. We're gonna stamp that in some black licorice ink on white cardstock, and then we're lining it up there with a sentiment banner die. And right on the edge there, you'll see we have some excess. We're gonna trim off any of the excess. And this was the moment where we realized, oh, that weather vane was kind of in the way of that sentiment. So so we move that to the other side and then we're gonna be able to start layering everything now. So we're gonna add our barn on and we're just gonna line up that opening in the barn with the opening of the reveal wheel base. And then we can attach our hay there sentiment on as well. And then we're just gonna trim off any of the excess with some big scissors here. So we're gonna trim off the excess of the picket fence and that sentiment banner. Then to add some more decoration on this barn, we're gonna take out the You Goat This stamp set. And the goats are so cute with this barn. I just love them so much. So we're gonna add in some of those characters. We're also gonna add in that little farmer that comes in the tiny farm stamp set. And he looks really cute peeking out from behind this door. And then we're gonna add some foam squares to the back of our goats. And we're gonna layer them into the scene. And so the goats are kind of in the foreground and the barn is way in the background. And the cute little farmer's just checking out his goats. Next, we're gonna work on our reveal wheel mechanism. So we're gonna be die cutting the reveal wheel wheel. So it's this scallop circle and we're gonna die cut that from some white cardstock. Then we're gonna be using those templates to help us do our stamping. And in the template set, there are two different templates. There's a three window template and a four window template. So you could decide if you wanted three characters to show up or four. In this case, we're going to do the three character one. So we're gonna use that template right there and it lines up exactly perfectly with this scallop circle. So we're gonna line that up and then we're just gonna use some low tack tape, washi tape, post note tape to hold that in place. And we're just gonna secure that really well so that it'll be nice and easy to do stamping. For our stamping, we're gonna be using that tiny farm stamp set again. And our little characters are gonna be in that barn window and they're gonna kind of spin around in the window. So we have our pig, our cow, and then our little chicken. And these little guys, they're just adorable. And at the end of this video, we're gonna show you a way to use them on their own instead of just with the barn. So there's lots of fun ways to use these adorable little guys. So now that our stamping's done, we can remove that template and our characters are gonna be in the exact perfect placement for lining up with the reveal wheel. Now the next step is to add a little bit of color to these cute little characters. And we're just gonna quickly use some Copic markers to color these adorable little guys in. The next step is going to be to die cut the smaller reveal wheel base circle. And so we've die cut that out of some white cardstock as well. And then we're gonna take out a little mini brad and that's gonna help us form our reveal wheel mechanism. So we're gonna take that brad and we're gonna put it up through that circle and then up through that piece that we just stamped on. And so the prongs are gonna be coming out at the side where you have your cute stamp critters and then we're gonna open up those prongs to secure them in place. Then we're gonna take the whole wheel and flip it over and we're gonna put some tiny foam squares on that smaller base circle piece around the brad but not touching the brad. We're gonna die cut that main reveal wheel piece again. That's going to be the base of our mechanism. And we're gonna put that down and then we're gonna pick up our circle and we're gonna look through the window and just line up one of the characters. And as soon as one of those characters is lined up in perfect placement, we know the rest of them will be in perfect placement because we used that really awesome template. So once that's lined up, we can peel up the liner paper on those little squares and then just press right down onto that base piece. 
as you press down to that base piece, it's going to attach the wheel to the base and you'll see that that wheel is going to be able to spin freely. Next, we're going to add some foam squares onto the base piece and we're going to add foam squares all around the wheel, but not touching the wheel. And a good way to make sure that everything's working is you can actually just spin that wheel right now, make sure it can still spin, then you know you have your foam in the right place. We'll peel up that liner paper and then we can just line our cute little barn right on top. And so we're just lining up two die cuts and you'll see that this is going to create a really, really cute and adorable mechanism. And as you spin that wheel, the little characters change in the window and oh my gosh, this just makes me smile. I just think it's so sweet. Now that the mechanism is created, we're going to work on our card base. So we're going to be attaching this whole mechanism onto a piece of white cardstock that is four by five and a quarter. And then we're going to take this whole thing and we're going to attach that onto some barn red cardstock that's going to be five and a half by four and a quarter. So this is going to give us a nice kind of layered matte look. And that barn red cardstock is obviously just perfect for this barn. It looks so good. I just love it. And then here you can see in the Tiny Farm set, there is a little E-I-E-I-O with an arrow. And this is meant for the reveal wheel because now that little arrow is going to tell the recipient what to do. And I just think it's so cute with the E-I-E-I-O. But maybe I've just been singing Old MacDonald a lot to my son, but this is just so cute and fun. And then the last step is to put this whole thing onto a standard size five and a half by four and a quarter card base. And this card is all done. It's so fun, so cute. This would just make anyone smile. Seeing those little characters appear in the window is just so fun. Our cute little tiny farmer would look really cute in that window scene as well, but he's really fun coming out of the barn doors too. Next up, Shari is going to show us how to use this build a barn on a card that is not an interactive reveal wheel. It's just a standard card and it's so gorgeous and the way she inks the gotta have gingham paper is just beautiful. So take it away, Shari. So to build my barn today, I'm starting out with some chili pepper cardstock and I'm going to do a lot of distressing and inking on this card. So I'm going in with some fire brick distress ink pulling that in from the top. So I'm going to get a little shadow that's underneath my roof eave. I'm also using some aged mahogany, which is a much darker red to kind of darken up this barn a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom, but I'm going to mask off where the roof line is going to be, which you can see there when you die cut it, you get a little score line to help guide you where that roof is going to be. And I'm doing the same thing to the bottom. So that way the top and the bottom are going to kind of go from a bright red at the bottom towards darkness at the top where the roof is. So I've gone in with the fired brick and also the aged mahogany on that bottom portion of the barn as well. And I can just pull these away and then you can see sort of the different colors that you get when you do this inking. I'm adding some aged mahogany ink to my craft mat here along with some liquid stardust. This is going to give me some shimmery splatters. So I'm adding some water to this. I'm just going to mix it up till I get some shimmery dark red ink. And then I'm going to add some dark red shimmer splatters to my barn. Like I said, I'm doing a lot of distress and inking to this barn. I'm going to flick it off the block as well to get some smaller splatters. And then I'm going to dry this with my heat tool. And you're going to see how the shimmer sort of starts to come out as that ink dries. So drying it like that with the heat tool helps you see sort of what your splatters look like. And in my case, I decided I wanted to add just a little bit more. Now for my roof lines, I've cut these roof pieces from some black licorice cardstock. This bottom one lines up right with the score line that the die creates on the body of the barn. And then of course the top one just layers right against the top. Now for the door, I've cut this out of some white cardstock, but I am going to definitely distress it a little bit so that it matches my barn a little bit better. I'm using a block to help fold those barn doors along that score line to get a nice sharp fold and then I've cut those solid pieces out of some narwhal cardstock. Those will layer behind and fill in the solid part of the door. So I'll go ahead and just glue those a few little dots of glue to hold those down and I'll just layer them on the back side. And you can see how that creates a really fun barn door with the two colors. 
And then of course I'm going to do the other side as well. So once I have the solid pieces in there and I kind of have a whole barn door, I'm going to do the same with the little windows. The frames are cut from white and then the inside I actually cut from some storm cloud cardstock. So it's a little bit darker than the door. So we're going to have some variations in the gray colors that we use. And these are really tiny, but just a few little dots of glue and you have your two little windows. There's also that die cut with the little shutters. Now that goes up in the hayloft. You don't have to add any pieces to that. It cuts the little shutter details with the die. And then I'm going in with tea dye distress ink and making these a little bit more dingy. They're a little too bright to go on my really dark barn. And so we got to distress them a little bit to make them look like they've been out on the farm for years and years. So I'm adding that tea dye to all the pieces, even those tiny little window frames to kind of knock down the brightness of the white a little bit. And then I can add them to my barn. So for this one, with those shutters that open, you just add glue to the frame and it fits perfectly on that opening. These little trim pieces that go on the bottom, I've cut these from some narwhal cardstock. They're nice and short, and then that door is going to fit right between them in the middle. So you don't have to worry about layering the door over a piece that's all the way along the bottom. It fits perfectly in the center between these two bottom trim pieces. Making sure my doors and my shutters open, I can add my two little windows on each side of the door. And then finally, there's a little star in this die set, which is the perfect accent right above the door. I cut that from some sunflower cardstock, and I just love this cute little barn so much. It is very cute with all its distressing. Now I'm using the little chicken from Tiny Farm, and I've stamped it on some white cardstock, colored it with Copics, and I'm going to color gray around it. I'm just going to be cutting this out in a rectangle, and it's going to layer behind so that this cute little chicken shows up in the hayloft on the top of the barn. So I'm just going to color the gray way out beyond my image here, and that'll give me plenty of place to cut and fit this behind the window. You can see how it's much bigger than I need. So I'm just going to cut it into a rectangle. First, I realized when I was checking to see if that chicken fit in that window that the inside of my shutters were still very white. So I'm just laying that on that piece of paper and distressing the inside of the shutters as well. So now you can see I've cut a rectangle around that chicken and I can just layer him in the hayloft. So when you open up those shutters, you get that cute little chicken inside. So now I'm going to work on the background. I'm using the new Gotta Have Gingham Rainbow Paper Pack. I really like this yellow color. I think it looks really good with the red barn. So I'm going to pull out that orthogonal one, cut it with that stitch rectangle die, and this is going to be the background for my barn. I'm also using a piece of some really rainbow paper, that green, that's going to be my grass that goes along the bottom for my barn to sit on. So I've just die cut that with the grassy border die and then I'm figuring out kind of where I need it to be and I'm just going to cut that with that same stitch rectangle so that I have that nice stitching detail on the sides and along the bottom. So of course, this needs to be distressed a bit too, darkened up to match my barn a little bit more. So I'm using some fossilized amber distress ink and I'm inking around the edges of this gingham. So it's gonna cover up a lot of that gingham on the edges and you're kinda gonna get that distressed look on the outside with that gingham in the middle behind the barn. So I'm just working my way around, darkening up those edges. And I don't need to worry about the bottom because that's going to be covered up by the grass. 
I don't want to pull that ink in too far. I still want to see that gingham, but I really like this dark kind of golden color that this Distress ink creates. I'm going to go ahead and glue my grass along the bottom. I am putting a little bit of tape runner just on the back of the blades of grass so that they stick down really well. Although most of them are going to be covered up by the barn. And then for my card base, I'm using some craft card stock. But again, this is a little bit too light to go with this dark, distressy look that I've got going on with my card. So I'm using some tea dye distress ink to just kind of darken that up a little bit, make it a little less perfect. You get that sort of variation in color. I'm being very messy with that. You're not going to see a lot of it, but you are going to see some of it. I decided I wanted to add some shine, so I'm going in with my gold metallic to add some splatters. This gold really goes well with this yellow background so it's almost like a tone on tone but when it catches the light you get those glints of gold and that's going to look really good with the sparkle that I added to the barn. So I've put foam tape all over the back of this panel that I've created. I'm going to stick that to my card base. You can see it's kind of distressy around the outside where I did that inking. The sentiment I'm using is from the Hey There stamp set. I've just got a little sentiment banner cut from some speckled egg cardstock. Just doing a simple happy birthday on this card. And I'm just gonna layer that below the barn. That barn is not yet glued down. It's just there kind of for placement so I can make sure I have enough room for that sentiment. I wanna go ahead and add the weather vane to my barn. This is cut from some storm cloud card stock, so I'm just attaching that to the back of the ridge with some liquid glue, and now I can attach my entire barn to my card base. So a lot of glue all over that, so everything's well stuck down. I'm gonna line that up right in the center, right above that sentiment banner. And then I felt like the doors, when they opened, it was a little empty inside. So I'm adding that little cow, which is from the tiny farm stamp set. I just colored and cut him out with the coordinating die. And then here is my finished barn. I love how this card turned out so much with all that inking and kind of darkening up of these bright colors that we're so used to. I love all that sparkle and shimmer and I just, love this barn die so very much. This card is just so pretty, Shari. I love the inking that you did, and I think it's so fun that when you open the little shutters up top or the barn doors, you have the little characters inside. It just makes me smile. And next up, we're gonna be using those little tiny farm characters on their own, and we're recreating a card by Elise. We're gonna be using the mini slimline dies here, and these are so fun, and we're gonna be die cutting some different papers here. So we're gonna die cut some cilantro cardstock, and then we're also gonna be die cutting from the brand new Gotta Have Gingham Rainbow, which is of course so perfect for all these farm and goat cards. And so we're gonna go through and pick out a coordinating green to go along with our green cilantro cardstock. And these just look so pretty layered. Now next up we're going to be using our tiny farm stamp set but we're also going to take a little speech bubble that is in the you goat this stamp set. We also have little speech bubbles in a lot of other stamp sets so you could kind of look through your stash for a speech bubble and we're going to stamp out this speech bubble a few times and we're going to be using the tiny little words that are included in this set. These little words are really fun for stamping in that little reveal wheel barn as it spins and they're also really fun using with these little speech bubbles. So we're going to stamp each of those little phrases. We have the oink, the moo, and the cluck and then for the last bubble we're actually just going to stamp a little heart and color that in. Then we'll use the coordinating die to cut all of these little speech bubbles out. Now for the sentiment, we're gonna do some white heat embossing on some black cardstock. And we're gonna be using the phrase that's in the set, which is, hey there, from the whole herd. Now when we design sentiments like this, you'll see that they all have the same size rectangular base. So they're really easy to kind of butt up against each other and create one long phrase. And that's what we've done here. So we prepped the black cardstock with an anti-static powder tool. We're gonna to stamp in some clear embossing ink. And then we're gonna sprinkle on some white heat embossing powder. And you'll see that it's gonna to stick just to that ink. And then we're gonna heat it up with our heat tool to have a nice bright white shiny sentiment. 
Next, we're just gonna trim around that sentiment with a paper trimmer. And I love this look when you do white heat embossing on black cardstock. It kind of reminds me of those old fashioned Dymo labels that I really, really love that look. So we're gonna add some foam squares to the back of that and then foam squares to our Gotta Have Gingham piece as well. And we're gonna do a lot of pop dots on this card. Since it's a simple card, adding the pop dots gives it a lot of dimension. It makes it feel really special. So we're gonna layer that part on and then we're gonna layer our sentiment. And the sentiment's almost gonna function as the ground for our characters. So we've got our little hay there and now we can start to add the characters onto the card. Um, and they're all pop dotted too. And you can see just how cute they are all lined up. And then we're going to take that awesome speech bubble and we're going to layer those all above each character. So our farmer is going to get the heart and then obviously the pig's going to get the oink and the cow's going to get the moo and the chicken's going to get the cluck. We've cut a card base that's three inches by six inches out of some white cardstock, and then we're gonna layer this whole piece on there. And I really love the white border with then the two layered greens. I just think it looks so striking. And this card is just so cute, fun and quick and easy to do. Next, we have some incredible cards by the design team. And first up, we have an awesome Build-A-Barn reveal wheel by Grace. And I love how she used the Build-A-Barn with our very special mice. And this is just the sweetest card. I love it so much. And you can see as you spin the wheel, she's used some of the sentiments from very special mice, a heart, and then a little mouse from our virtual friend set. So you can really mix and match things in that reveal wheel window. Next, Tammy got super creative and she only used the bottom half of the barn to get a smaller barn for her card. And isn't that so cute and sweet? I love how this turned out. This card by Megan is so beautiful. I love that she put the barn on a slim line. It's perfect for that and perfect for our Hey There stamp set too. This card by Leticia is so pretty. I love the sunset she created. It's such a fun and beautiful scene. And then here, Audrey created a cute little scene on her circle, and I love all the layers in that stitched wood grain backdrop. And Elena had this similar idea where she cut off the top of the barn to create a shorter barn and then used our Henry's ABCs for her sentiment, and it's just so cute and sweet. And then here, this card by Mindy is so much fun. It's just a beautiful reveal wheel. I love the inking that she did in the background. And as you spin the wheel, you get all of those cute little farm characters up there. So we cannot wait to see what you guys do with this new Build-A-Barn and Tiny Farm set. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today. And I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.